Oh. All right, hello everybody. Welcome, welcome. So, here we are in uh, the Outdoor Boys garage here, and uh, we're going to be uh, 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 having a little Q and A and announcements. And uh, I've got my wife here helping me out, uh, help moderate, and uh, help me communicate your your questions. Um, but at any rate, eight, uh, got a couple things we're going to be doing. And first off, we are going to announce the contest winner. Yes, that's right. We had uh, a contest last week with my Ninja Throwing Star Bandolier project, uh, Ninja Throwing Stars, to winner. And I'm going to give you some updates about what's coming up in the channel and uh, what we're going to be doing. And uh, uh, we're going to uh, talk Christmas present ideas. So especially uh, for you guys out there who are putting together the Christmas list for the for the misses, or you're trying to think of something fun to get people. Um, we're going to talk about that and do some Q&A stuff as well. So, first off, the winner of last week's Ninja Throwing Star Bandolier giveaway project was Miguez Fishing. I may not be pronouncing it right, but Miguez Fishing. He had a lovely, lovely comment about trying to fulfill his, uh, his boyhood fantasy of becoming Snake Eyes from G.I. Joe. And that, that got me, that got me good. And uh, so, <coughs> so uh, I, he, he won. Also, he seemed like he was over 18 and possibly in a state where it wouldn't be a felony to send him Ninja Throwing Star. So all big pluses. Uh, hey everyone, looks like we've got Catfish Bill 66. Hey, good to see you, good to see you man. And hope everything's going well for you. Hopefully we'll see you uh, at the Catfish Conference this year. Um, yeah, all right, and uh, and Becca here will be uh, shouting out since I can't oh, read the questions without getting my face super close to the screen. Becca's gonna shout out some questions when she sees them, uh, at least the good ones, hopefully. And uh, and let me know what's going on. I recently made your jelly hot dogs. How long will they last? Yeah, they 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 last a long time. They get harder. Or the Jello hot dogs when you put them in the fridge, they get harder and harder, which actually is good. They don't fall off the hook, so. I think I've had some for like five months is the longest I've ever had some. I've never had them go bad. They just, that's the longest I've ever had them. Where, where are Tommy and Nathan? <coughs> Downstairs. I was running around in their skivvies, I believe. I don't think they put clothes on all day. They're, they're enjoying the holiday. So they're, they're, uh, they're playing with uh, their, their aunt downstairs. So, uh, at any rate, um, so, oh, uh, I, I promised you guys also a bunch of updates about things that are coming up with the channel. We've got a lot of traveling coming up. Um, we will be going to Florida here in a little over a month, and we're going to be doing some awesome videos, including I'm going to go try to catch pythons with my hands in the swamp at night. So I'm do a video on that. Hey, hey we got... Uh, William Way of Fishing, thank you for the uh, thank you for the the super chat, the two dollars. Appreciate that. I'll just spend it on fishing gear. I have a problem, but thank you. Um, so yeah, we're gonna be down in, in in Florida with the family and doing some fun things. I'm really jazzed to go catch giant pythons at night. I think you do it with your hands too. I'm, I don't know a lot about what's going on. I just somebody said, hey, want to go hunt pythons in the swamp at night? I'm like, yes, that's a hard yes. So, at any rate, we got that coming up. <coughs> got some fishing trips. Uh, uh, we're going to do some fishing while we're down in Florida, of course, and, and uh, have a good time. And uh, then I've got a trip coming up in January. I was hoping to go to Texas and fish for alligator gar, but everyone's telling me January is a terrible time, terrible time to do it. So I might be uh, going uh, to Spain to go do Wells catfish uh, in January. Uh, yeah, so I, I'm excited. That's been a to-do item for a long time. So I think me and Nathan might be doing that here in January. It's not official yet, but it's it's in the in the works. But we are going to England. Hey, thank you very much, uh, Mark. Uh, Appreciate that. Thank you very much. And uh, we're going to be going to England in uh, August. 
uh, we're going to be spending uh, like three weeks in England. Uh, and of course, doing a lot of fishing and, and uh, videos and, and stuff like that. So there's a couple different people we're going to try to do some videos with. And, and uh, we're looking, looking for I'm trying to do something a little different. You know, I really enjoyed this world tour we did this last summer. Um, but I think the videos were too much like a family video log you know and I'd like to do more more normal videos and less a travel log you know or you know, do a little bit different than I did this last summer or uh, but uh, we're, we're looking forward to it um, somebody, somebody said that um, Choke Canyon in Texas has gar all year oh there we go <laughs> sounds awesome uh, have you have you retired as a lawyer have I ever done? No, no, <laughs> no. I've got I've got several people who who depend on their paycheck. Like uh, let me keep the firm open. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna throw them to the wolves just so I can go chase and fish. So we're gonna stay. We're gonna. Stay. I'm gonna be doing the law thing for a little while. Have you ever gone deer hunting? I've never gone deer hunting. I used to do a lot of hunting up in Alaska. Um, as a boy, but it was mostly um, uh, upland game and, and waterfowl. So we used to go hunt sandhill cranes and ducks and stuff. I used to do that a lot when I was a teenager. But I haven't really been hunting since I got married. Hey, come on, look, look at look at this garage. Okay, look at look at the look at those fishing rods. I don't need another hobby. I really don't. <laughs> I can't I shouldn't be fish hunting. Thanks, Adam Hill. <laughs> oh, Abigail, thank you very much. Adam and Hill, sorry. Adam, Adam Hill, excuse Adam me. Hill. Adam, Adam, Adam Hill. That's, thanks, Nat. <laughs> thanks, Nat. Adam Hill, thank you, sir. <laughs> Nat, Nat Light, thank you very dearly. Though, I got to tell you, um, on the on the thing about hunting, yeah, I am going to do a little bit more hunting videos as the boys get older, and that's something I can participate with them. Um, I'll tell you something I kind of want to do. A uh, little sneak peek here, guys. Uh, oh, maybe, uh, oh, yeah. Oh, thanks, Appalachian Wanderer, Alan. Thanks, thank, Alan. <laughs> thank you, Alan. Thank you very much. That's a boar spear. I really, I want to get really good at making spears. I'd like to go hunt boars with, wild boars with a spear. I am not going to promise you that this is going to happen, but it's kind of a rough fantasy plan, you know, that I would think would be pretty cool. So we'll, we'll see though. But as a, a father of three who would like to keep his legs, I'd like, I, I don't, we'll have to do some more research on that. Hey, hey Mike, no pressure, man. Just enjoy watching, man. <laughs> um, a lot of questions, they go by kind of fast, but you know, some about fishing, somebody knows one of your family members in Alaska, come to various places to do fun things. Oh, there are so many wonderful places to fish in this world. I mean, it's, it, it, and it's just amazing. Anywhere you go, there's something awesome to do there, you know, and the, I think the secret to life is enjoying what's unique about the time and place you are at that moment, you know. Um, I grew up in Alaska, right? And I was fly fishing for trout and salmon. And, and my, my dad spoiled me rotten. He, he took me, kind of like how I take my on, on all these great trips. My dad did the same for me when I was a young man. And, and so I got to go and do some of the most amazing fly fishing in the world. And um, got my first sage fly rod in junior high and you know earned it and saved up my money. And I just I, yeah, loved it, right? And I moved down to, to Utah for a while. Uh, and I didn't fish for years. I I was there for five, six years and never fished because my oh, it's not as good as Alaska. Alaska has better fishing. I don't want to fish. This fishing here sucks, you know, you know. And and the truth is, Utah has some great fishing. It's not Alaska, but it has some wonderful, wonderful fishing. And I wasted so much time by being snooty about it and thinking, oh, well, this isn't Alaska. This isn't good. So you know, you know. And then I moved out here to Virginia, and Virginia's completely different. But there's some amazing fishing, as you guys see in my videos, right? And everywhere I go, that's what you see. You know, what I used to do isn't exactly, you know, there's there's something, you, you what you like to do may not work in your new area, but there's always something 
wonderful, something unique that you can only do in that area. It's really good in that area. And just enjoying that, is, I think, is a key, very much a key to happy, happiness. So. Well, Jacob. Jacob's turning one here in a couple months, so he's he's 10, 10 months old. Almost 11. Almost 11. He's so cute. He's such a cute little boy, and he looks at his dad. <laughs> Have you, you ever turkey hunted? I've never been turkey hunting. There, were, I, you know, I have never, I've never been hunting outside of Alaska. So that's, uh, and we do not have turkeys in Alaska. So uh, I've uh, hunted for ptarmigan and grouse and cranes and geese. Actually, that's not true. I I went quail hunting in Tennessee and duck hunting in Arkansas. And those are the only two times I've been hunting outside the U.S. They said, what's the deal with the ore? Oh, that, um, yeah, I actually got that in the belly. I made this when I was a, teen a teenager, and uh, this was hanging up in my parents' cabin. They just recently sold the cabin, and my parents sent it to me. So it's roughly based off, roughly based off a Tlingit design. I used to, used to want to be, when I was a teenager, wanted to be a professional uh, wood carver specializing in native Alaskan totemic art. So I made like little totem poles and paddles and stuff and would sell them to people. So it was fun, but that, uh, as, as I can tell you, the, a great way to ruin a hobby is to do it for money. And uh, uh, it uh, uh, wood carving is great. I would not want to feed a family on it though. <laughs> Somebody made a good point. I thought this was a Christmas gift idea movie. <laughs> it is. It is. But in the tradition of YouTube, we take a long time getting to the point. <laughs> anyway, don't don't rush things here. Don't rush it. It's like a fine wine. Okay. But uh thanks Bethany. Thanks, Bethany. <laughs> No, no, ah, no, Bethany, no, thank you very no, much. No, 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 yeah, not sarcastic. Oh, no, yeah, no, I, <laughs> yeah, thank you, Bethany. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so, with some Christmas ideas, uh, is, uh, um, I, a couple things here. First off, I was going to tell you some products that I really liked, um, and also, uh, inevitably, I've been getting tons and tons of questions about people asking for my recommendations. And uh, let me tell you a couple things. First off, I don't have sponsors, okay? Um, there's a, I feature a lot of products in my videos, um, but I'm, those aren't paid, okay? Uh, most of the time, I'm buying these with my own money and just doing it, and the companies have no clue that I'm recommending their products in my video. There's a few products that I really like that the companies will send me for free, um, like my Whisker Seeker rods. You know, I bought those uh, with my own money, and then after having it for a couple of years, the company was like, ah, we noticed we really appreciate you using our rods and we'll send you some more. And I'm like, yeah, you know, okay, they're good. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Yassine. So there's there's a few there's a few companies that'll send me this, but I don't have any sponsors. Okay, so this is just my humble opinion of things that I've found throughout throughout the year or that I think are really cool that might be some good Christmas ideas because if your you or your loved ones are anything like me you're hard to shop for is that right Becca very hard to shop for it's <laughs> <laughs> <is> true <clears throat> so um, I'm, and I'm going to be doing some follow-up videos about this I'm actually going to do a formal video on the catfish and carp channel with like fishing related stuff, like fishing and related Christmas ideas. Like these are the products I think you guys should be looking at this Christmas. Uh, I'll hit on some of that this video too, but um, uh, I'm gonna do a little broader than just fishing gear. So a couple things, um, uh, headlamps. And I burn through tons of headlamps. I go night fishing all the time. We go out toad hunting with the boys. I, I'm always buying flashlights and spotlights. I have tons of them. Outdoor player. Hey, outdoor player. Thank you very dearly. And um, I, I have not tried all the headlamps out there. There are tons of them, but I really like the Coast ones. They are some of the most comfortable to wear. They're light. They're, they're pretty darn powerful. They have this adjustable knob on the back. Uh, this one runs off of three AAAs. Pick them up at Home Depot or online at Amazon.com. They run about 30 bucks. So they're kind of a mid-priced mid, mid -priced, uh, headlamp. And um, 
you know, the biggest thing is the little the little plastic things that keep the head mounted on brake. And that's, I've bought like three of these for me and the boys and stuff. And the only problem I've ever had with them is that little plastic things breaking. And then you can just kind of duct tape it together and it, it works. But works pretty good, uh, pretty good headlights. So coast headlamps are great if you have a fisherman or outdoorsman in your life who's outside at night, like camping. Um, if you want something, you know, this is a nice all around comfortable, lightweight um, lamp. If you don't want that, if you want the biggest freaking headlamp you can get, um, this is the headlamp we used frog hunting down in Louisiana and they are insane. Um, they're so bright, you can see all the spiders' eyes light up in the swamp at night. It's crazy. Huge, huge thing, though. Um, it's rechargeable. It's got a little plug on it in the back. Uh, back. It's, um, it's not as heavy as it looks, but it's definitely heavier than most. Uh, more that just sticks out. It's bulky. You know, it's a big, huge thing. I find it a little bit uncomfortable to wear just straight on the skin, but if you have a hat underneath it, it's not it's not so bad. But this thing is crazy powerful. I mean, crazy, crazy powerful. So if you want a heavy duty headlamp, this is it. And it's about the same price, um, amazon.com. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to put links in the description after I get done with the live feed and uh, go through and, and talk to you, uh, put links in the description so you guys can see how to how buy that. Somebody asked if, if you, if I allow your that hat in the house, <laughs> my wife is the same. She she <laughs> she opens up <with> so much. <coughs> she, she's the same. Yeah, she she allows it in the house. She, not for family pictures. Yeah, that, the, the other day, but um, a couple uh, spotlights. You know, there's lots of decent spotlights. Um, this one's been pretty good, Stanley. It makes it. It's got a little stand on it so you can prop it up if you're working, you need hands free. And it's got a little a USB port. You can click this button and then use it as a battery backup charger. So if your GoPro or your can or your, your phone starts to get low, you can charge it off the flashlight. And uh, it, it's got high, low, off uh, switch and it recharges. And it was like 30 bucks. Uh, I think I got this at Lowe's, um, but uh, I'll, I'll put a, the Fat Max by Stanley. It's not too not too bad. It's nice, heavy duty. I, think, and I use this. I keep this on my boat all the time when I'm night fishing. You know, you're trying to see something, see what's going on. You keep a lookout for uh, logs in the water as you're going down the, the reservoir and things like that. Works pretty good. And then at the end of the day, I just plug it in recharge it and I keep it in my kind of go bag for uh for fishing and it's it's been lasting longer than most of my spotlights I've had a lot of spotlights I like but um a lot of them die pretty quickly the batteries don't last uh any other questions um yeah something about like Shimano DC rods if you can review it <coughs> about casting products some kind of product questions if you're going to do more axe restorations oh yeah yeah actually I've got a, I've got about six to eight I think I got eight videos that I've already filmed that are just waiting to post the outdoor boys video and I got about the same number on cats and carpet I've got some axe restoration videos coming um, I've got I've got uh, axe restoration videos there's some clues behind me of things to come. Uh, ask so, if you're if you're gonna fire up the forge soon. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I've been doing a lot of forging, and some forging videos are coming, so you will not be disappointed. And and recently, you asked for a uh, my wife asked for a steak knife set. So oh, I, I you didn't ask for that. Maybe you just mentioned it. Wait, okay, I asked for a steak I knife. I just wish we didn't have one. We just said you didn't have one. So you don't want me to forge one for you? I I, I sure, but I didn't. I, I yeah. I didn't. Uh, have you heard about the new carp world record? I'm yeah, sure. yeah, the fifty k, uh, the fifty k carp. I, I, I didn't get any details, but I saw the thing. It was a chunk. Yeah, yeah. I'd love to go out and fish out. And I'm assuming it came out of hungry, you know. But uh, what happened to your yearly meet and greets? You know, I got pneumonia, and so I canceled one. And then we were on the world tour and got super busy, and I canceled the fall one, uh, and because of that, and 
I got to admit, they were, they were, they were a lot of headache. <laughs> and it, it, I might get back into doing it um, because I'm rearranging my, my life a little bit better. Or uh, this 2019. 2019 is all about quality of life balance. Uh, to put it in perspective, the last two years, before I did the world tour, before I did the world tour, it had been, I think, two years since I took a, a Saturday off. It wasn't filming. Uh, so I was filming pretty much every spare moment. I was editing, editing videos for every spare minute of my life, you know. Um, and and the videos for the meet and greets never did very well. They're like throwaway videos. And so uh, it, it was such a huge deal to like give up a weekend. And it would put me behind on videos and stuff. So I really kind of didn't like doing it. But I have a little bit more time, so I'm, I don't know. I, oh, I'm, I'm thinking about uh, doing it. I know a lot of people are asking, but it's, it's, it's a little bit of a hassle. <coughs> um, but, uh, yeah, maybe we'll do it. Um, <coughs> uh, yeah, what, what was I, yeah, I derailed myself a little bit. <laughs> I can't remember what I was talking about. Um, the fatty carp was from hung up Pay Lake in Hungary. Yeah, I bet it was uh, uh, Euro Aqua. Uh, Aquia, 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 or whatever how they pronounce it. It's a. I'm actually looking at going. It's a. It's a. It's a members only a uh, club if it's Euro Aquia, but. Uh, 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 hey, somebody liked the World Tour videos. See, oh, did. good! Somebody watched. <laughs> <laughs> Those did not perform well, but the people who liked them really liked them. So I'm. I'm glad there are some fans out there. They're. Uh, we love them. We. Uh, yeah, we loved them, like but. Them. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it was a little bit too, 12 parts was a bit much, maybe. Uh, uh, a few questions about collaborations, um, a few, like, did you go to BYU? A few questions about family and just... Yeah, I did go to BYU. That's where I met my wife. And uh, uh, we, we, we met, we were both sophomores. And yeah, I think we were both sophomores when we met. And uh, by the time I graduated, she'd been teaching there for like several years. Not several years. <laughs> <laughs> briefly <laughs> briefly yeah one of us was a much better student oh somebody was asking about casking products and other thing you know casking i've got mixed feelings about uh the casking kodiak is a decent rail i i seem to like i i like it um the rover i do not like and they are one of the companies that heavily try to oh oh uh work out deals with YouTubers. And, and so, uh, they're, they're, they're a company that their reviews uh, are often paid for. <laughs> you, you know, a lot of people play that game some more than others. Um, but it's, it's kind of funny how I, I, I never hear boo from any of the big manufacturers, you know, Daiwa, Shimano, you know, oh, Fluger, you know, Abu Garcia, those, those companies couldn't give a crap about me you know or my, you know my uh, whatever but i get i get probably four emails five emails a day from these kind of startup fishing companies or china chinese based fishing companies who sell on amazon or whatever trying to get me to write reviews for money and i am just constant people asking me to do that and it's it's interesting to kind of see how that world works and i'm very suspicious of the people who play that game but but I like the Kodiak. I don't like the Rover. I don't have any experience with the Cast King gear outside of that. Oh, and I, I tried some of their their braid a while back, and I didn't like it. it the color faded immediately, and the weave was terrible. But um, but uh, that's it. That's the only experience I've had with the products. So yeah. Where do you get your exotic hardwood? Uh, there's a store in Virginia called Hardwood in the Rough um, that is one of the most amazing. Uh, exotic wood stores in I've ever seen, you know, and it's, and, and luckily it's, 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 you know, I can, I can make a little trip. I can, I can go there and kind of stockpile on, on stuff and, and, uh, and get it. But uh, they have some amazing things stuff. Uh, I've got a piece of teak over there that's salvaged uh, uh, from the restoration of the USS Missouri that I'm used, used in a product uh, project today. I, they had pieces of wood uh, from trees that were cut down from Civil War 
of fields where you could see the holes and the and the bullet holes and cannonball holes from the the Civil War battles and stuff had created all these cool burls and stuff. I and mean, they've got some of the most amazing wood in there. I actually have been toying with the idea of doing a video or just giving you a tour of the shop because it's a fascinating, fascinating store, isn't it, babe? Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Um, it smells great. <laughs> uh, have you ever messed with the fish 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 fun reels? The fish of fun fish of fun reels? I have once and only once. I bought. Um, I've got some whisker stick rods that I really like for the boys, and I bought some cheap $17 Fish of Fun reels. Uh, I bought four of them for like $17. Bucks. Um, they seem fine, but the, the, the knob on the reel keeps falling off. So that's all I know about them. People want to turn <coughs> these on at the top. Yeah, well, maybe we'll have to do that. And how to sharpen a knife super sharp. You know, I, I you know, I, when I do these project videos, I am not an expert. I'm not a fabulous blacksmith or an axe restoration expert. I, you know, I, the point of these videos is like I'm a dude with normal tools who's just having fun doing it and showing you that you guys can do it too. It's kind of more my shtick. Knife sharpening is one of those things I am not that great at. I know I'm weak at. I would, I would love to be better at Uh so I can show you some of the things I have learned, but I haven't learned that much, and I bet I'm doing a bunch of things wrong. So that's one of those. That's one of those subjects. Like I need to do more research before uh, I do a tutorial on it. <laughs> you know. Somebody <coughs> wants you to answer your Instagram. Are you on Instagram? Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm on Instagram, but I'm too old to be on Instagram. You know. Being on Instagram, I turned 40 this year. Being on Instagram as a 40-year-old is kind of like hanging out at Chuck E. Cheese as a 40-year-old. You know, it just makes you feel kind of creepy. <laughs> you know, it's like, I'm too old to be here. You know, this is weird. <laughs> you know, so I, I, I post stuff, but none of, I don't follow anybody on there. I mean, I have, I have zero interest of it. And so people keep telling me to answer my Instagram, and I'm not even 100% sure what that means. Like people leave a comment on one of my posts, I, I read them and I respond to them sometime. But if you try to send me a message or, or want me to follow something, it's not, it's try Facebook. You know, I'm, you know. <laughs> Somebody's told you to get your flu shot. I agree. You should get your flu shot. <laughs> I uh, I had I had, uh, um I went to the doctor's office. <laughs> I went to the pediatrician. For the, for the boy, uh, he's a little while ago. The doctor's like, hey, have you gotten your flu shot? I hate needles. I hate them. I would much rather have the flu than the flu shot. But um, and and but I want to be cheeky. So I, 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 you know, I tell the doctor, no, I haven't got my flu shot. She's like, well, why not? And I said, well, I don't want to catch the autism. <laughs> you know, just being flippant. And the doctor freaked. Like she unloaded like a 30-minute lecture on me. I'm like, ah, I'm just kidding. No, it was too late. Too late. <laughs> she lectured my ear off about you know, about, about uh, vaccines and anti-vaccines. I really don't care that much one way or another. I was just, but yeah, don't joke with your doctor about that. Apparently, that is like the raw nerve of the medical profession. So <laughs> I need to do the nose, the nose thing, maybe. Uh, anyway, Christmas presents. Yes, back. Back to that. So another thing I'd recommend, you know, if you want a cheap little stocking stuffer for an outdoor person, these things are absolutely amazing. Okay, these are the the Hot Hands adhesive hand warmers. We've all used the little hand warmers, right? These ones just have stickers on the back, and they're a little bit larger. I take the boys out fishing all winter long, and you take a little four-year-old boy out on a boat. You know, in the middle of winter when it's, you know, 20 degrees out or 30 degrees out. It's cold. They get cold so easy. You just slap one of these on his chest, one of them on the back, a couple whatever, you're great. And I've had some times, like I went uh, fishing with Leo from uh, Extreme Philly Fishing last year. And it was like 20 degrees in Pennsylvania. And I showed up and I forgot my coat. <laughs> I was wearing this hoodie and my overalls. And it's 20 degrees out. I'm like, oh crap. I get out of the coat car and I'm just like freezing. So I just took a bunch of these, slapped them all over. I was toasty. Absolutely wonderful. You just, they're, they're absolutely the most amazing thing in the world. Well, five bucks for a pack of 12 at Walmart. I'll put a link in the description, but those things are amazing. Um, do you do ice fishing? 
I, I do when there's ice, but Virginia just doesn't get safe ice easily. There's very few places, very infrequently we get safe ice. Um, I keep thinking about, oh, you know, I could do do it. It was kind of like uh, January here. I'm, I'm, I'm really debating between flying to Spain and fishing for Wells catfish, which will get up to like 200 something pounds, or going ice fishing in Michigan. Now, I really love ice fishing, but if I'm going to get on a plane and take a week off and fly somewhere to go fishing, it's kind of like, I think I'd rather go to Spain and catch 200 pound catfish. You know, it's, it's actually cheaper too, but so, oh, I, I want to go ice fishing. It's on my to-do list to go do some ice fishing videos, but every time the chance pops up, it kind of something else kind of comes up. So I used to do a lot of it in Alaska. Um, we used to love, love doing it. I'll tell you the secret to finding a good spot, you know, because I always went ice fishing in the city, the, you know, kind of the, the lakes around Anchorage in Alaska, and there's lots of people ice fish. And the way you always picked a good hole is you found the hole that was covered in blood and scales and fish guts and bait. And whatever one was like dirty, you know, like you could see the slaughter and gore, that was the hole you wanted. <laughs> so. Somebody a long time ago asked if you've ever been fishing at Jewel Lake in Anchorage. Yes, I have. And if you watch, uh, I believe it's part 10 or 9 or 10 of my, my uh, world tour video, you'll see us fishing uh, at Jewel Lake. So, yeah. So, did, uh... <clears throat> what present are you most excited about getting the boys? Oh, yeah, that's a hard one. Um, because there's the stuff I want to get them, and there's the stuff that they want. Um, and we been we were talking about that just the other day, like like Lincoln Logs and oh, BB God, <laughs> Tommy, Tommy. We watched Christmas Story um, yesterday, and Tommy comes up to mom today. He goes, Mom, I uh, I really wanted a BB gun, but I'm just shooting my eye out, so uh, no, I don't, I don't want one. <laughs> <laughs> he could grab me up. <coughs> he said he wanted a Nerf gun instead of a BB gun. Yeah, Nerf gun. Yeah, I, we might get them that. I was thinking about getting them like a pair of like little little Nerf flashes. I'll talk to my wife about that. Yeah. This is Nathan eats or Jacob eats the bullets. Jake Jacob's been eating the Nerf bullets a lot. Um, oh, uh, some other uh, some other great Christmas presents. Um, I'm doing a video review of this because it was so 